Hello and welcome to episode 2 of my Let's Play. Uh, so we're going to go back into the thick of it, just to show you um, the little mob gathering we seem to have down here. I don't know whether this they know I'm recording and have come out especially, but there's one or two zombies, one or two creepers, a couple of spiders, a couple of skeletons, a little bit of everything down there. It actually seems to be a fairly popular spawning point. It's always busy down here. I've played four or five days now of this uh, save since my last time I was playing, or last time I was recording rather, and every night this area seems busy. This whole patch of sand and that little bit of dirt. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a mob trap I think. Sort of a lava mob trap. Some kind of design anyway. Maybe build sort of a waterway down there to that end to push them into lava. We'll come to that at some point anyway. I'll show you that in one video because if I can get these creepers and these are, there's three creepers on my screen right now and there was a couple of spiders and zombies. If I can get all them into a mob trap, I'll be rolling in the goodies. So expect that in a future update. Uh, one other thing you might have noticed is there's a new glass texture and there's also a new sun texture and along with a new moon uh, slightly modified doors and slightly modified cobblestone some of you may recognize this, this is uh, Crush's Barely Texture Pack, that's the name for it I'll put a link in my description it's his own textures that he's modified and he uses in his own YouTube Let's Play series by the way check that out if you've not already He's just started a new series on a new map with new biomes and stuff, it's very cool. So yeah, this is his glass and his other bits and pieces. It's mainly the glass that I wanted. I love this glass because you can see through it, unlike the default texture pack. You can't hardly see through the glass hard, half of the time. Plus it doesn't look re very realistic. So yeah, this is nice because you can see right through it and you can see everything. And that, yeah, that's all the stuff he's changed. Only those few things, everything else is still default because I like the default texture pack. Many people despise it, but I love it. But props to Nod Notch to adding the um, support for texture packs, that was very cool. So I may try a few more, because I had I, I'd a dabble with the painterly uh, before he added the support, but I didn't really like the painterly. I don't know what it was about it, it just it didn't feel like Minecraft when I used the painterly pack. But I don't know, I may experiment. I've also got a new skin um, and the name escapes me but it's from the Dark Tower series uh, which I haven't read but I like the character, the character of the gunslinger um, I'm, apologies in advance for not knowing the names uh, I will find out the name of the guy that made it though and a link for it because it's a fairly cool texture the, the jeans could or the trousers could be doing with being a bit darker I don't like the blue but everything else is fairly cool it looks kind of nice with a sword in his hand as well, but I believe he should be holding a gun. If the Dark Tower books are to be accurately represented. But obviously we can't have guns. Yet. So let's crack on with what I did from my last save. Or my last video. Um, I just finished putting this building up. But it was incomplete. It's now been completed. With glass and a roof. And I fenced off this, as I said I'd do, because I'm not going to go this way yet for a, probably maybe a week real time, maybe two weeks real time. Uh, so it's just fenced off for the time being, and I basically use it to throw trash over the edge to get rid of. But that's all. So then I went off in this direction. You saw me building the bridge last time. I've now fenced it all off. And I've... I've to surprised I've done fences before but doing fences in this sort of uh, amount it takes up a lot of wood I had to go and harvest a hell of a few trees to get all these fences done and then you remember last time the, the rest of the mountain was here well I've taken the mountain out completely it was mostly dirt anyway so it was fairly easy to dig out there was some stone but it's fairly quick to dig out what there was it only took about an hour and slapped in some wood, a wooden structure, 
uh, stuck over some glass and then went digging. And if I just go over the middle, thanks to this groovy new texture pack, you can see right down to the bottom fairly clearly. Uh, that is obsidian at the bottom, and I'll show you why it's obsidian. We'll go and take a, a dive down. There's, there wasn't much else around the edge, uh, just some dirt that was hiding some coal, which I've patched off with smooth stone because I just I like it to be all the same thing. There's a little gap there that needs filling in, but there's no cave or anything. So I got down to the bottom, and as I was digging out the bottom layer, I hit that corner down there, and out came the lava. And there was a lot of lava that came out. And the only thing I could really do was either brick it up or pour water over it. So I decided to go with the water route and regret it now. I should have gone with the bricking it up. It would have took longer. But then I wouldn't be stuck with loads of obsidian at the bottom of my mine shaft that I still can't dig out. Because I haven't got enough diamonds to make a diamond pick. So I've sort of blocked off three quarters of my most interesting layer some might say because we're down at bedrock so I will go off in this direction eventually and I was about to do that and for some reason I came back up here to this level oh I think I was putting the glass in because it was time for another level of glass and I was getting here and I heard water rushing so I thought ooh sounds interesting we'll have to check that out and obviously checked it out and lo and behold there was water at the end of here which pushed me back out so I cleared it up blocked it off and I was presented with this which is going to be fairly dark on YouTube oh we have monsters uh, I'm going to switch to peaceful just for the rest of this recording because I haven't got time to deal with them and show you what's what uh, but I will switch back to normal when I start playing properly so a ton of obsidian that was already here so that was kind of cool that was neat because pre-made pre -made obsidian is kind of nice because it, it's like something's going on without your knowledge or without your input which I always appreciate in a game like this because some games would not do anything like that you know something would only happen if you made it happen and Minecraft has features of its own you can find lava creating fires and you know water disrupting things and stuff like that which I like I appreciate a lot it shows some a lot of thought has gone into the game on little things like that. So yeah, this flowed off in that direction for a bare, fair bit, but I did put this most of this down. Well, I say I put it down, I poured water on it, just to sort of explore. And uh, there wasn't much. There was a couple of diamonds around here somewhere, I don't remember the exact point. I think it may have been there actually, where I put a bit more obsidian down. Just around here somewhere anyway, but there was only two. So not enough for a diamond pick, just yet. And I've not found any more, strangely enough. You usually find a fair bit down on bedrock, well I do anyway. I found tons of this stuff, absolutely tons of it. I've already got a stack and a half in my chest. And there's probably another stack's worth just in this cave system. So I'll just show you the rest of this system. It fairly connects up with in uh, one big circle. But one confused in big circle. And that's actually another layer there of obsidian. I'll just drop down. Which leads round onto this bit which is dead end. And it doesn't look like the lava goes any further. But I will just expand it a few layers deeper. Just to see if there's anything hiding behind there. More redstone and more redstone. <coughs> the only reason it's still here, all this redstone, is because I don't use it. Um, I don't. I have never tried dabbling with electrics and wiring and that kind of thing that you can do in Minecraft yet. I will do though at some point. And there's plenty of dirt still to be dug out, which is probably hiding a few things. And the whole corridor of dirt there, which is probably hiding some good stuff. More redstone there. And then if we go back round this way, it's all goes back on itself and we're back into this main chamber and there is another offshoot of a cave this way as well which yielded some uh, big coal deposits actually nice big coal deposits and then that sort of connects up with where we were a minute ago and then it also goes around here more of the stuff and then that's just a dead end 
And then there's there's some gold here which I dug out, which was nice. I like a bit of gold. I don't like too much, seeing as it's still useless. And then that sort of goes back round to the beginning, and it's also it also shoots off this way a little bit. And there's some coal there, so I'm going to uh, put water over this and turn it to obsidian, and check out that direction and see if there's anything interesting that way. But yeah, that's that's the cave. It's fairly big, but it's not overwhelming. So I don't mind going around here. It's it's just the right size, really. Any bigger and I'd sort of get lost, but any smaller and it probably wouldn't have yielded much. Uh, now I've got to find a way out. It's just slightly hidden. There we go. So yeah, that's my progress. Uh, Mine-wise. Next time I'll probably have a... Maybe a shaft there, or this side, on the next level up. Uh, if I can find that elusive third diamond, then I'll make a pick and clear out the bottom. And go exploring. Preferably where there's no lava. But apart from that, I've not really done much. I did have a little worry uh, after I did a little experiment about wooden tree houses and wooden houses in general. Well, two worries actually. So I'll go and talk about them in the last few minutes that I've got. Uh, the first one was about uh, monsters can climb ladders now. Now, I thought they could anyway, for as long as I've played the game. But some are saying this is a new feature, that mobs can climb ladders, but I'm fairly certain it's been a feature for a while. But anyway, the main worry is, with this being my ladder entrance, if I just step off onto the tree, um, the main worry is creepers coming up there. Because obviously, it's only going to take one creeper to stand there and blow up if I come back this way or if I'm already stood here or whatever. And I'll lose that. I'll lose all my stuff. I mean, there's plenty of iron to lose there. And obviously the diamonds. And the coal's fairly precious as well at the minute. Not to mention the wood. So yeah, that's that's a bit of a worry. About creepers blowing up my treehouse. Or anything getting in here, really. Zombies and skeletons. But I mean, they'd just kill me. They wouldn't destroy anything. So I've been thinking about maybe making an underground base maybe digging down here or the other side of the tree although that probably wouldn't work because if they can climb up ladders they can climb down ladders hmm maybe I'll go underwater maybe an underwater down base down there because that's my actual spawn point there I just go down here that um, column of sand is my actual spawn point so maybe I'll turn this bit into an underground base and then glass roof. Which I've not done before, so that could be interesting. And have it as like as a safe house with more and more stuff in. The only downside to that is it's a hell of a trek to get to my mine. Because the only way to my, into my mine is through the treehouse at the minute. Because I didn't want to put ladders on the side to climb up it for the same reason I don't want creepers to go into my base. So it's a bit of a trek, it's a bit of a nightmare. But it's not a problem until one does finally go up there. But I've not had that happen yet, so fingers crossed we'll be safe. The other worry I have, the more pressing concern, is fire. I made a flint and steel and went and burnt away quite a lot of um, leftover leaves in this area. Because I'd, I'd, there was lots of trees here. Lots and lots of trees. It must be a rainforest or a dense forest anyway, because it stretches all the way over there. And yeah, I'd, dug, I'd um, harvested all the wood and the leaves were getting in the way, so I went and burnt them. Bearing in mind that I knew that the fire spread over a few blocks to other trees. And lo and behold, I only wanted to get to about here and then stop it. But yeah, fire spreads fairly fast. Faster than you can put it out. And I eventually, in the end, I had to go ahead a few trees and sort of take out the leaves pretty quick before it hit this tree. Because if it hit this tree, no doubt the whole thing would go up in flames. So yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. So episode 3 will be out in a few days and we'll talk a bit more then. So until next time, see you later.